Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Active Directory Federation Services. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Web Application Proxy. Now, if you're following along with us and if you have watched the entire playlist, what we have recently covered is how you can set up Claims X-Ray Tool, a free tool offered by Microsoft that can help you to understand what kind of claims ADFS is issuing to a respective application. And in the last video, we have discussed about how to configure MFA on ADFS server. The scope of this video will be understanding what is ADFS proxy or ADFS web application proxy. These are the two common terms that you guys might have read or heard when you are trying to read different articles, but both the terms refer to the same entity and I'll tell you how. Then I'll talk about where you should place ADFS proxy server in your network. So now moving on, understanding the ideal setup of ADFS, what happens that every application sends the authentication request to a specific endpoint of your ADFS. ADFS gets the credential verified and a token with some set of claims is being sent to the application. But there is one thing which is uh, very much obvious and that is the application can be an internal application and it can be an external application as well. Now, if we talk about the internal applications, they can contact ADFS directly and can send the authentication request. But what about those applications which you are required or which exist in different enterprise? That means you are using some sort of applications which are not developed by your own enterprise. These are external applications. But in order to complete the authentication, these kind of applications as well send the authentication request to your ADFS server. So what is the reason why you need ADFS proxy? Because in these kind of scenarios, you have to expose your ADFS server directly to the public internet. Now, as I said before, that it's the endpoint of ADFS server, which is actually receiving the request from all the applications, be it internal, be it external. So what if I say that I can get all the endpoints of your ADFS server available on a different machine so that one, the external application would try to reach any of the endpoint of your ADFS server, that request will firstly reach to this particular server and then the request will be forwarded to your ADFS. ADFS will get the authentication done for you and the token will be sent back to the application. And in these kind of scenarios, we name the server as ADFS proxy server because we are proxying all the endpoints of ADFS on a different machine so that we can add one more layer of security. We can protect our internal ADFS farm with the help of a firewall. Now, in these kind of scenarios, this machine can exist in your DMZ network as well. So there is no need of domain joining this particular machine. It works as a workgroup machine, which you can keep in DMZ network. And this machine, which is ADFS proxy, will receive the request from external network on behalf of ADFS, will forward those requests to ADFS and send the response back to the application as well. Now, there is one more thing which is very important and that we have to understand that ADFS proxy will never be able to generate a token. It will be always your ADFS server because your ADFS server has the privilege to contact AD, whereas ADFS proxy cannot contact your active directory. So now if you talk about the key points that you have to remember about ADFS proxy, the first one is that it adds a security to your enterprise because you can actually protect your internal ADFS farm. When you are implementing ADFS proxy, there is no need of having internet connectivity on ADFS. That means you don't need to expose your ADFS to the public network because it is ADFS proxy which is receiving the request from external networks. Now, if you are using ADFS proxy, your ADFS will be able to know 
which requests are internal to your enterprise and which requests are coming from external network. Now, how this is done? This is because a header is stamped on every request which ADFS proxy forwards to ADFS and that header name is XMS proxy which I will be showing you in the next video when I will be showing you the lab setup. The fourth and the main point of ADFS proxy is that it can help you to publish all of the endpoints of your ADFS server whereas you can actually control as well that which endpoints you want to be published on ADFS and which endpoints you want to be published on ADFS proxy. The last thing which is also very important and that is ADFS proxy will never authenticate a user instead it will always forward the request to ADFS server so that the ADFS server can generate a token by verifying the credentials and send a token back to your application through proxy. Now since your ADFS server has the capability to know which requests are internal requests and which requests are coming from external network, you can actually create authorization rules either to allow access to a specific application when a user is coming from external network or there could be one more ca use case uh, for this and that is if a user is trying to access an application from internal network, the user will not be prompted for MFA. But if the user is coming from external network, he or she should be prompted for MFA. Now, these are the two use cases. There could be many which you can implement depending upon the different combinations that you are doing with different conditions. But these are the two use cases which I will be discussing in my lab demo as well. So a quick summary about what we have discussed. We have discussed the theoretical part of ADFS proxy. What are the key points that you have to remember? And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can install ADFS proxy and set up some of the use cases which you might need to test before implementing them in the production environment. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for your time. If you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. If you have any feedback, suggestion, please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.